Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Now earlier this week, Twitter remained true to its word and removed all of the blue ticks from the legacy verified accounts on the platform. Now as somebody who works in the area of social news gathering, it's vitally important that you're able to quickly identify legitimate and imposter accounts and distinguish between the two. And for the past 10 years, the blue symbol which was offered by the Twitter verified account has acted as a signpost for trusted sources on the platform. But an extension for Chrome and Firefox by developer Evil Socket allows you to see accounts which were officially verified by Twitter prior to Musk's takeover last year. Let's go ahead and install it and see how it can help you identify legitimate accounts on Twitter. So first things first, I'm just going to show you my own Twitter account here. And as you can see, there's no blue tick. Uh, I have lost my blue tick. I was labeled as a ver legacy verified account. Um, but that has since been gone since the 20th of April. Now, what we're trying to do here is to install our plugin onto uh, Chrome. So the first thing we need to do is go to Evil Socket's official website. Simply click here uh, to evilsocket.net. And you can see here a little tab here for his GitHub link. So we can go to GitHub. And um, as you can see here, this is his uh, profile. He's an Italian developer. And what we're looking for is his verified um, extension. So we can simply click here. And as you can see, I've searched for it already, but it's just spelled verified. So I click on that. And what you'd see here is a full explanation of the extension itself. Um, how this extension actually works is that every account that was verified on Twitter by the official Twitter account prior to Musk's takeover of the company is included in the package here. It's a full CSV file with over 400,000 usernames, all of which were officially verified. And you can see here, uh, this CSV was updated on the 5th of November, 2022, prior to Musk's takeover of the company. So what you're going to see is accounts that were verified up to, the, up to and including that date, um, all of which were verified officially by Twitter. So, once you see all the information here, uh, you simply click on download zip and that will download to your folder. The next thing you want to do is click on plus sign, open up an extension tab, and we're just gonna paste in extensions. And that brings you to your extensions tab. Now this is where you see all of the extensions that you have installed. And journalists tend to have a lot of these in installed as well. So you navigate up here to the right hand side and you flick the toggle for developer mode to on um, and that allows you to upload uh, extensions directly to Chrome for yourself. Uh, the first thing we need to do is just click load unpacked and this brings us to the verified main folder. Inside the folder is a folder called extensions or ext. So you simply click on this and click select and as you can see here that actually brings up the uh, extension and has installed it on your platform. So what you can do is go ahead and click close developer mode. Uh, what I like to do for new extensions is I actually pin them so they're quick of use and you can see it just appears here. Now, the next thing is I'm going to uh, navigate back to uh, Twitter. Um, as you can see here, uh, my account has no blue tick, it's been removed. Um, but what I can do is click refresh and you can see that a green tick from the verified extension appears under um, my username and my handle. And what this actually means is that my account was a verified by Twitter prior to uh, the Musk takeover of Twitter um, based on the information that's in the CSV file. Uh, of course, people can change this now, etc. Uh, if you, especially if you download it from another another source, but the one from Evil Socket has been verified to show that all of these accounts were verified prior to Musk's takeover of the company, uh, and were officially verified by the by the company itself. Of course, the CSV file which is in the package, of course, can be updated with new or notable accounts as well, um, but that's up to to the user themselves to do so. For me. It's perfect the way it works. It lets me see quickly and identify accounts that were verified prior to Musk's takeover of the company and makes my job a hell of a lot easier when it comes to trying to identify legitimate accounts. But anyway, that's been it, folks. Thanks very much for watching. 
comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.